Hello, Dave here with uh, RadiationHealthRisks.com. I want to answer a serious question for everybody today. I, the question I want to answer is, is 5G technology more dangerous than 2, 3, and 4G? Short answer is yes. Um, I want to explain it to you. So, we're all familiar with regular electricity that turns our lights on and runs our appliances. As regular electricity increases in frequency to the point where it becomes airborne, it becomes electromagnetic radiation. And there's this thing called electromagnetic spectrum. On the low end, you have things like radio waves, AM and FM radio waves. You get up a ways, up higher, you get into things like microwaves. You get all the way to the top, you get to things like X-rays and gamma rays. Um, the higher you go up the spectrum, the shorter the wavelength, which means the higher the frequency. The higher the frequency, the more dangerous it is to us. Um, the, on the lower end with the AM and FM radios, you've got the lower frequency, which means longer radio waves. So let me explain to you the difference between uh, 2, 3, and 4G and 5G. So with 2, 3, and 4G, um, they used between 1 and 5 gigahertz. Um, compare that to 5G that uses between 24 and 90 gigahertz. 90 gigahertz, to put that in perspective, is basically 90 billion electromagnetic waves hitting the cells in your body every second. It's much more um, radiation than what we're naturally exposed to. Um, and I, I was reading an article the other day that says that um, they're estimating that as we get down the road a ways, 5G is going to use more than 90 uh, gigahertz. Um, there's a there's a U.S. Uh, mil U.S. military has a crowd control microwave weapon that operates at 95 gigahertz, which is just five um, gigahertz higher than the 24 to 90 gigahertz of, of 5G. So um, compared to 2, 3, and 4G, 5G uses ultra high intensity and ultra high frequency. Um, so that's the first problem. The second problem is um, the wavelength, the short, the, the millimeter wavelength that 5G uses is, is you know, very, very short compared to 2, 3, and 4G, and very, very dense. What does that mean? It means that it doesn't travel very good, and things obstruct it, like a house, or a tree, or even the rain. And so, somebody using their cell phone, we're used to good cell reception, um, you know, you don't want to be walking around a tree and lose your cell signal. So, what they're going to have to do to compensate for that um, and the reason they want to use this is because it, it carries a tremendous amount of data, more data than 2, 3, and 4G. But to compensate for the, the um, you know, losing the signal so easy, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna need to put a lot more mini cell stations. We've all seen the big cell phone towers that we're used to seeing everywhere. We'll still have those, but we're also going to have a bunch of little mini cell stations, they're estimating that they'll need to have them between two and eight um, houses. And, and you won't notice them as much because there'll be these little mini cell stations, they call them, and they'll be on the top of street lights or on the top of houses or whatever. And like I said, they're gonna need to, they're gonna need to have them every two to eight houses so that when you're on your cell phone and you walk around that tree and you lose the signal, the cell phone, without you even realizing you lost your signal, will just grab it from a different cell tower or mini cell station. And so that's, that's the, the, the idea. So to kind of summarize, um, is, why is 5G more dangerous than 2, 3, and 4G? It's, it's compared to 2, 3, and 4G, it's ultra high intensity, ultra high frequency, which the higher the frequency, the more dangerous it is to us. And um, we're going to have a lot more mini cell stations all around us putting off the radiation. So our exposure is going to be a lot higher. And then as soon as, you know, they start putting out all of these um, 
mini cell stations, like they're already doing it in some U.S. cities already now. Um, the the things like anything that you have in your house that's Wi-Fi is going to start coming out 5G, and and so we'll have that radiation within our house as well. So I hope that explained it. I hope that answered your question. I hope I did it in a way that was understandable and and interesting. So. Um, the last thing I want to mention is uh, we have a page on radiationhealthrisks.com called the recommended protections. And especially, the, you know, the, as 5G comes out, it's even going to be more important, but it's, it's super important right now already. There's things that you can do um, to protect yourself from the appliances and things in your house um, that have the radiation. There's some things that you will want to just get rid of if you can, but, but the things that you have to have, there's things that you can do that will block and shield a good portion or most of that radiation. So check that out if you would on radiationhealthrisks.com. I got links there to the best places where I think you can get the best deal uh, on those. So I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.